Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. Somebody Hi. having a ride with the, to get it into the, into our class today. Okay, hopefully Edwin are, is able to get in because I think he has a problem with that. That's what I think. So it's gonna be only girls night. Oh, I love your makeup, Gabby. Thanks. Yeah, Thanks. it's soft. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I was feeling in the mood. <laughs> you, you, were, you were feeling in the mood. All right. <laughs> Yeah, those days that you say, oh, um, I just want, I just want to make up a little bit. Yes, I know that you said, I know that I'm pretty, you said, but I want to feel a little bit more prettier. So, okay. <laughs> so this is one of those days. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I had to. Hey, I, I, I lost the uh, past class. It was very sad because it was too funny. I, I saw. I saw the class today. Uh huh. Because yesterday I didn't mm -hmm. enter to the class. Yes, I was about to ask you, but thank you so much for doing it in advance. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I I couldn't because I wasn't in, in home and oh. there was a lot of noise in the place uh -huh. where I was. But I I saw the class today in my work. Ooh. I had nothing to do, so I I. Oh, so that's I the reason why here. Uh, because you have nothing to do, you're here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, just using you. Oh, well, I think he has a problem. Let me check that. Let me send the what? Oh yeah, the URL video. Okay, I'm gonna send something right now because I think he uh, has a problem. Okay, I send the URL. I'm gonna let him know. I I am sending to you. Um, URL of the Zoom conference. Okay, I, I'm what I'm doing right now, girls. I'm helping Elwin because for some reason he cannot get into. So I'm going. What I'm gonna do right now? I'm sending the URL to him. Well, to the WhatsApp everybody, and I'm sending the meeting ID and the passcode. So hopefully, um, he's able to get in. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay, there you go. I don't know what happened to him. He said that yesterday he he could, but now he can't. Maybe that what's maybe the Zoom, maybe right that could be. But girls, do you have the same problem that Elwin is having right now, that he cannot get in the class for some reason? No. No. All righty. That's why. I'm, I'm no, that's why I'm sorry that I, I was not uh, like here. But right now I'm helping him. Hopefully he, he can initiate it because he has a problem with the passcode. He cannot get in. So I sent him basically the passcode was not working. So I sent everything, the URL for the Zoom meeting. Then I sent him the, um, yeah, Edwin. You see, Edwin, yeah, it works, right? Yeah, you see, he's connecting. He's connecting right now. Oh, yes, I was worried about it. I think so. I think with the URL and the password and the meeting ID, that now works. Whoops. Phew. You know what? So, okay, he disappears. <laughs> Maybe he will come back. <laughs> okay. Ah. Hey, girls. We, uh, you know what? So right now, it is only girls' night because we have Gabby, we have Cody, we have Ceci, we have Gabby Sanchez, and of course, we have Elsie. And you know what? What? Of course, me, right? <laughs> but um, you know what? Sassy is here, my cat. But um, she, right now, I think she decided to dedicate some time for the mama, right? In, in case of me, because she's on her bed right now, giving her a bath like this. This. Mm -hmm. It is really weird. Today on the afternoon, she lied on me and she spent like at least 10 minutes with me, which is a lot. 
sorry. So I will, I will show it to her uh, in a few minutes, okay? When she approached. Right now she's giving her a bath, so we don't want to interrupt her. Hey, hi, me. How are you? How's the day going? So far, the good? Was very good. Thank hey. you. Hey, that's nice to hear that. Also, we have Josue. Hopefully, Edwin can get in. I think he has a problem with the internet right now, maybe. Or maybe where he lives is about to rain. Guys, was it raining when, where you live right now? Or it's about to rain? Tell me. It's about to rain. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. Anita and Elsie also leaves, yeah. but yeah. time is about to rain. You know what? I was really scared because here, um, where I live, it's it sounds a thunder right and then it it sounds like the water is coming and suddenly whoosh, it started raining a lot and i was like oh my god it was a seven seven eight zero eight so i was like oh no hopefully it stopped raining before the class because if not we're gonna have a trouble and we need to reschedule for fridays <laughs> you know what that had happened and Elsie's like, no, no, you know, Elsie, that had happened. That for some reason, it is not in my hands. It is not in your hands, right? So sometimes I had like, uh, it was, it happens to me only two times in, in one year. So that I have uh, turned on for some reason. So, and I don't have any, any energy. And I reported like, hey, I need help. So basically, uh, they rescheduled the class for Friday. Yeah, but only two times, okay? Only two times, so don't worry, Elsie. But if for some reason that happens, I'm letting you know, okay? Because we need to have the class. But it's nice because you will have a one day off, come on. No. <laughs> hey, I had to let you know, guys, that tomorrow is going to be the last class before the August vacation. We're not going to see each other next coming week. However, we're going to see each other back on August the 9th, right? Thank you, Jaime. I know that you're so excited about it. Yes. You cannot express yourself. <laughs> yeah, Jaime is happy, like, woohoo. He said, Come on, Jaime. Finally on vacation. You're already on vacation? No, no, on Friday. Ah, oh, lucky. Yes. Lucky you, my friend, because I'm not going to be on vacation. <laughs> so sorry for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know what? But I get used to it. I get used to it. Let me see right now. Um, this year, because I got to change uh, work because I was working in some area and they closed here in El Salvador. So I got to move from one company to another, like fast, right? But uh, uh, knowing English opens many doors for you. So I just spent like, let me check, less than one week without a job. <laughs> and uh, basically um, I thought, well, I haven't had like vacations like in uh, nine years. So like, you mean like the regular vacation, right? The, of course, the vacation of Christmas and New Year. Ah, yeah, of course. Not all of them, because sometimes we, there's like a specific team gotta be one day. And for example, the team that is gonna be on December 31st, uh, they, they will have, they won't have a, uh, they will have vacation on December the 25th, right? And the ones that are in 25th, they will, they are, uh, the, the ones that are working on the 25th, they will have a day off on the 31st. So we have to like separate it. But uh, this year was the first time that I have uh, almost two weeks in a row for vacation. Almost. I was happy. But do you have the annual vacation? Mm, no, really. No? Oh my gosh. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, so well. Yeah. Energy. <laughs> yes, I do. I do have a lot of energy. But of course, you still, you get tired. So you know what? I decide to sleep <laughs> for the first two days. Like, yay! I was happy. But and you know, I, I yes, I, I have to tell you know something. But I don't know why. Ah, yes. I sorry, girls, but Sassy is about to sleep right now. So, Sassy, are you sleeping? Or are you watching the mosquito that is approaching to you? No. Okay, she decides to go back to sleep. Oh, she's a baby girl. She looks so sweet when she's sleeping, but she's like, mm. she's like a tiger. Hey guys, I had to let you know, today was the first fight for Chestnut. Chestnut, my dog, he fight with another dog today. 
but nothing happens. What is chestnut? Chestnut is one of my pets, my baby dog. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I know that he has a little bit of terrier in his nouser because he defend his daddy for another dog. So that was nice, but not really. <laughs> but nothing happens, only like, like that. Hey guys, talking about that, did you uh, do your homework? Did I, did I uh, let you a homework yesterday? No? no. Are you sure? No. no? Ah, okay. No. no, I'm just asking. I'm just wondering. No. I'm okay. Ah, okay, okay. No, I'm just wondering. Hey, uh, you want to play something? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you like games? Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. That's awesome because we're going to play something today. Uh, let me double check something. Uh -huh. uh, let me just a couple of minutes. There you go. Okay, let me check something. If you love to play, that will be awesome because I love to play too. There you go. Okay, let me log in into my account. And then we're going to work together. Guys, this is just to make like a review of what we have seen so far. And, um, but also just to have fun. So let me just a couple of minutes. I'm gonna send you something right now to the WhatsApp. Bear with me. Enter in, into this one. Um, Kahoot.it. Uh, That's the, okay, I sent it right now. That's the website that I want you to get in. I will be giving to you uh, more information right now. So just bear with me. Mm, okay, let's do it. Let's, let's do it, uh, some recap today for one of the things. I just want to evaluate something right now. So don't worry. Okay, guys, are you are you already on the on that website? Are you on the website? Yeah, Kahoot.it? Okay, cool. The, I think yeah. they're asking you for a PIN number, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. So uh, let me give it to you really quickly. Okay, bear with me because it's still lower, it's still loading, 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 loading. There you go. Okay. I will give it to you. It's uh, 316 316-0109. 316-0109. 316-0109. Sorry. 0109. I'll repeat it back to you. It's 316-0109. There you go. I got um let me share right now my screen with that. Yes. Okay, I have here Gabby, Anita, Elwin, uh, another Gabby, Pammy, Jaime, Elsie. I, I'm missing. I'm missing people here. Okay, I got Blanky. Who else is missing here? Let me see no. who else is here. No. I, I cannot see you. Sorry. Sassy, right? Yes. Okay, but I only have eight people here. So, well, 12 in this case because 13 is with me. Uh, Else, Jaime, Blank is here. Brandy, I don't know if Brandy is here. No, Brandy is not here. So hopefully, Brandy, you are able to. Edwin is here. Gabby Sanchez, Gabby Velasquez. Josue, I'm missing Josue. Josue, where are you? I got seven. What happened with the rest? Uh huh. Who's missing? I don't. Uh... Me pedí instalarlo. Oh, you need to download it. Okay, 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 don't worry, don't worry. Okay, you can download it for the next time. You're gonna be just a viewer, okay, Beatriz? Yeah, Beatriz, you, you, just, can, you just can be a viewer, okay? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about okay. that. You can do it next time. I'm going to, sh uh, to share my screen with you. Guys, this is really important. I got to let you know something. This is a really interactive game. Uh, because basically it's going to review something that I want just to reinforce a little bit. So don't feel bad if you use, if you said, oh my God, I really know that answer by heart, but I forgot to click, click on the right answer, right? Okay, so there's this is the thing. You got to watch my computer because on that computer, on my computer, you're going to see the answers. On your, on your device, on your cell phone, your, your tablet, whatever, you're not gonna see the answer. You're just gonna see the, um, the colors. 
All right. So what I want you to do is to look into my screen and click on your device. The answer that you think that is the right one. However, let me let you know, this again has time. You gotta read fast. You gotta read fast and click on the right answer that you're supposed to know. However, you know that I'm a tricky teacher, right? So you gotta be careful with commas, punctuation, lower cases, with misspelling words, etc. So please, and also be careful with the birds right now because I can make a mistake by accident. Well, not by accident, right? <laughs> Intentionally. So you better be careful with that. Okay, guys, are you ready? Yep. Yes. All yes, righty. Okay. I, I, I don't know who's going to be the the third, the last three participants. We have a, a bronze medal, we have a silver medal, and we have a gold medal. Okay. So go for it. Okay, guys. Woohoo. Let me check how many. I think I have 10 questions here. There you go. Okay. So we have 11. Every, can everybody see my screen? Yep. Cool. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Let's start, guys. W, H, and just no questions. Remember that we have seen that already many times with B. How do you spell your last name? Take a look at my screen and then click on the one that you consider is right. We have red, yellow, blue, and green. Very good. Only one click on the right one. I right, guys, come on. Guys, this is really important. I don't know if you didn't know that or you know that for sure. But when you spell your last name, guys, when you write it, all the letters got to be in capital. You need to divide each letter per dash or hyphen. And you got to put the period of full stop at the end. Did you know that or you didn't know that? No. Ah, okay. Okay. Now you know. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's continue. Elsie. She was the only one. Come on. Okay. We have Pam and we have Gabby. Way to go, guys. True or false? In a just no questions, the intonation goes down. That is true or that is false? What do you think, guys? Remember what I had let you know, okay? Come on, that's false. In a just no question, guys, the intonation goes up. Teacher, I don't yes. know where I have to click. You have to click on your on your device. On your device. Uh -huh. Don't, don't click did. on my computer. <laughs> Look at the device and you gotta click or blue or or red. You have to check on my on my screen to see what mm -hmm. what which are the letters. But on your device, you need to click because you're going to see just the, just the color, not the letters. But always I have to let you know something. Always the, in a just no question, always the J's is blue and the no is red, just to let you know. Okay, okay so Elsie, come on, what happened with the rest guys? No way. You, you need to like get Elsie out from her. Okay, guys, in a just in a WS question, the intonation goes down. That is true or that is false? Um, no, that no, is, yes. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I almost yeah. give you an answer, but no. <laughs> no, that's that's true, guys. Remember the last the last announcement. If I just know question, the intonation goes down, that's wrong. In a just know question, the intonation goes up. However, in a WH question, the intonation goes down. That's true. All right, Elsie, you were the first one to answer. You're at the top. Then we have Gabby. Hi, man, way to go, Josue. Pame, hurry up, because if not, I think they're gonna kick you out. 
Yes, go ahead. Okay, choose the correct answer. Is your teacher from Canada? Look on my screen, guys, and choose the correct answer. Be careful with the comma and the punctuation, please. There you go. Exactly. Why was not the yellow one, guys? Uh huh. Because it doesn't have the period. Exactly. Yeah. Because it doesn't have the full stop. My God. You see, guys, that you need to hurry up, right? You see, this game is like you need to be faster. Only five answers. Come on, guys. Josue, Jaime, you got to be careful. All righty. Elsie, way to go. Continue. Complete the question, choose the correct WH question that is missing. Missing. Look at the question. The question is, huh, they from? The answer is there, from Vancouver, Canada. So which is the correct WH question, guys? Exactly, very good. Oh my God, Elsie's at the top. We got Gabby and we got Josue Torres. Jaime, what happened to you? Hurry up, Gabby. We have, we almost on the last week, on the last sentence, sorry. In the sentence, she's my classmate, apostrophe S is a contraction for the verb to be is. That is true or that is false? You gotta, you gotta answer correctly. I will kill you if you do not answer correctly. Very good, excellent. Hi, man, way to go. Bye, Josue. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All righty, and the last one, guys. The last one. Choose the correct list order of positive adjectives. Possessive adjectives from the following pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. Which is the correct possessive adjective? yes all righty so guys in the third place we have gabby way to go gabby in the second place we have jaime and in the first place goes to elsie way to go girl yay and we have Josue in four and Claudi Sessi in the fifth. All right. Not too bad, right? Not too bad. How do you feel? Very you good. Have, you have to like answer fast, right? And think fast. You want to play another one? Yes. Okay. But please, this is like a warm up, right? You're like flexing your muscle right now. But what I mean, your brain muscle, right? <laughs> All righty. Okay. So let me choose another one and you gotta be like ready. Okay, I'm gonna choose another one. So you see guys, that it was like an easy peasy queasy, but no, not really. Easy peasy queasy is like a piece of cake. I don't know who, uh, who asked me what I'm meaning with the easy peasy queasy, but when I when I said me easy teacher. peasy queasy, who said that? Me, me teacher, Veronica. Ah, Berito, okay. That means, Berito, like easy. Easy peasy queasy is uh, it's like a piece of cake, something that is, easy to do that's what it means okay okay so let me choose another one guys okay let me choose another one let me go back to business okay you already have the basically guys the, the the same website so you gotta use exactly the same one not a problem about that uh okay what about the pin yes i'm, I'm about to give it to you because each uh each of them has a different pin. So I'm going to select something that we already know that, but just to make sure it's really nice to review. Okay, guys, now it's going to be about simple paths, okay? We already know that for sure, but we can just double click on that just in case. All righty, so I'm about to give it to you. Just give me just one moment. All right, the pin number is 7924521. Seven nine two four five two one. That's the pin number. Four one. 
Let me give it to you back. Seven, nine, two, four, five, two, one. Mm -hmm. Four, five. Mm-hmm. Four, five, two, one. There you go. I'm going to review this right now. Okay, I have Anita, Elwin, Jaime, Elsie, Gabby. Okay. I haven't shared my screen yet. Claudia, Ceci, yeah, good. Who else is missing? I'm missing somebody here. Repeat, please. Yes, seven nine two four five two one. Hey, Sassy, you want to play? Blanky is here. Who else is here? Also, Torres, good. Look who is here, guys. Oh. Hey, everybody. Hello. I already woke up. So, I, okay. I just came to say hi. Yes, it's a cat. Hi. Okay. You can go, Sassy. All right. So, are you ready, guys, to rock and roll? Yep. Yes. All righty. Teacher, I don't know where. <laughs> where what? Where um, Ingresara? Uh, okay, I don't uh, know. Uh, uh, do you, I'm going to put it in the chat, uh, Liz. Uh, Kahoot.it. Did you click on that website, Kahoot.it? Yes. Okay, click on that. But it shows, it shows the image. Mm, no, it's Kahoot. I, and I'm all. Oh. It's Kahoot, K A H O O T dot I T. Go to the browser. Ah, right, right, right. Uh huh. If you do, if you do not put it correctly, it will show you something else. Okay. So it's Kahoot dot I T. And they will ask you for the PIN number. And you can just put your name, guys. Or if you want to invent, you can be like, uh, I don't know, Winnie Pooh. Tiger, butterfly, and I don't know, like uh, Hello Kitty. Yeah, you can invent. Pikachu, I don't know. You can select. Whatever you would like to put your own name or you gotta put like, like a nickname. <laughs> and also it's like Pikachu because I, 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 of course I know like a little bit of those comics, right? Of those cartoons. So are you able to log in, Liz? Yes. Okay, let me double check here. If you are ready here. Yes, we have Liz here. Okay, guys, ready? All right, let's go. Simple past tense. Three, two, one. Read carefully, please. Quiz. We use the simple past two. Take a look at the emails and choose the correct answer, please. Hurry up. Oops. Oops. Only six? Come on. <gasps> yes, that's the right. Oh my God. Who says number one? The red one. That talk about actions that are starting the past and continuous in the present. No, that is present perfect, guys. Simple past is action that is started and ended in the past. Very good job. Let me see. Josue, way to go, guy. Then we have Gabby and Elsie. Oh my God, this is really tight. Okay, move on. True or false, guys? Regarding simple past with B. This is easy. We use was for he, she, and I, and it. This is false or this is true? Please, everybody has to answer correctly. Hurry up. Only seven. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. one. Yeah. Oh my God. Who says false? I will kill you. All right. Let me check. Elsie. Claudie. Oh my goodness. Jose. All right. Okay. What happened with the men? I only have two men here. Jose and Elwin. What happened, Jaime? I don't know. I have technical problems right now. IT. IT my internet is low. 
Ooh, okay, don't, but don't worry, guys. Don't worry, this is just a game, okay? Answer the following questions. A, when were you born? I wanna know the time, not the place. So take a look at the answers and don't forget the period, please. When were you born? I mean the date, not the place. <sighs> Who put I was born in China? When I ask him, when were you born? I want to know the date in February 1st of 1992, for example. No, where? Okay. Uh -huh. And who put, I were born in 1999. I was born in 1999. Remember, right? That's why I put the previously question. Was it for he, she, it, and I? So the right answer is the green one. I was born in 1982. Fantastic. Very good job. Elsie, you were the one who answered first, but Josue is still on the top. Way to go, my man. Woohoo! Number four, what did you do yesterday night? Take a look at the image. What did you do yesterday night? Be careful with the misspelling of the words, okay? Uh-huh, I went to the theater with my friends. I stayed home and watched a movie. Yeah, I put it in the second one just in case. But that's good, right? If you click on the blue one or on the green one, it's okay. It's valid for me. All righty, Josue is at the top. Claudie, Ceci, you were the first one to answer. Way to go, girl. And Elsie, woohoo! Oh, my God. Hi, man, what's going on with you? What happened, hi, man? What happened? Technical issues, he said. Look at the image, guys. Look at the image. Were you at the park yesterday? Look at the image and click on the possible answers. Mm-hmm. Very good. Yeah. Who click on the blue one? Ah, nobody wants to say, right? <laughs> I'm just teasing you. All right. Easy. Woohoo. Bye, Josue. True or false? On a WS question, the intonation goes up. Again, guys, I'm asking you the same question again. True or false? Everybody has to answer correctly this one. Uh-huh, that's false, guys. Remember, WH question intonation goes down. <gasps> Josue, be careful. Gabby, way to go, girl. But Elsie's still on the top. Elsie, no, you're going to win this game as well? Come on, Elsie. Seven, on a just no question, the intonation goes up. Yes or no? Here we have. Very good. Inclination goes up. I who said this wrong. Come on, guys. Huh. Elsa's at the top, then Claudia, then Jose. Gabby, you were the first one. Very good. Quiz. What is the difference, guys, between a just no question and just no and a WS question? What is the difference? It is between the red and the yellow, okay? Don't tell me I don't know. Very good. Everybody answer correctly. Elsie, but you're still on the top. Wow. Number nine. Put the sentence in the correct order, guys. Last Paris Tong week went to. I need you to put this sentence in the correct order. Check the answers. Be careful with the period at the end of the sentence.
Very good, excellent, good job. Elsa's still the top, then Claudia, then Jose. Wow, I think Elsa's gonna win this, I don't know why. The last question. Find the past tense of the following irregular verbs. Wake, get, have, eat, and go. Irregular, not regular. So be careful. Very good. I hope put what God had ate and gone. Come on. God is the past participle. And wake is present. So that's not possible. Okay, guys. The third place goes to... Gabby. Way to go. Second place goes to... Jose. Who was the winner? Claudia Ceci. Way to go. Bye, Elsie. <laughs> I'm sorry, Elsie. I'm sorry, Elsie. You know what? I thought you were about to win. But no, Cloudy says it's a no. I'm not going to let her win this time. No two times in a row. So like, no, I will kick you up. <laughs> Very good. Hey, guys, do you like this again? Do you like it? Yes, teacher. Yeah? It's really interesting, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, and don't feel bad, like, ah, oh, I made a mistake. No, it's just, guys, to basically, it's a game not only to have fun, but at the same time to review some uh, simple things that we can set, but they are crucial to know and do not forget. And also, guys, it's just, a, it's a game, like, to help you evaluate yourself. You can say, ah, I need still to work on this area. Ah, I'm good at this one. Let's keep on doing, right? And it's also for me to like double check generally, how are you? Mm -hmm. So hopefully you will never forget. W is question, the intonation goes down. And there's no question, the intonation goes up. Okay? Please don't forget that. And don't forget that we use was with he, she, it, and I. Okay? I know that it's easy, peasy, quizy, but don't forget it. Come on. <laughs> All right, guys, I have more because this, this games, guys, is, a, is an interaction game that us, as a teachers, we create. We create just to, to evaluate a specific areas of improvement. So that's, that means that I create them. So I'm going to create um, another ones because I have for a lot of things that you cannot imagine, including for present continuous. So I'm, I'm going to create more and then we're going to also play games, okay? Maybe tomorrow we're going to play a, another one of a different topic, okay? I think I'm going to, I, the last one I think I created is 12 questions, but maybe I can create one of 20 questions. That might be. Okay, so you already warm it up, right? You already warm it up. You already have energy with this. Okay, so you see, it's a different way to start class, playing games, but I'm still learning. Okay, guys. So I know that you didn't have homework, but um, today we're going to uh, start talking about something really important. And, um, I don't know here in El Salvador, guys, you can, you can help me with this one. I know for different places, but not really for here. But um, uh, here in El Salvador, we have houses and we have an apartments, right? Houses and apartments. Uh, so some people decide to live in a house, some people decide to live in an in a, in a apartment. And we have a pros, and cons, right? Advantage and disadvantages. For example, may I ask you guys, uh, who lives in a house? Raise your hand. Okay. Who lives in an apartment? Ben, Marilyn, Anita, no? Anita also. House. 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 Okay, so we have only Marilyn and Brandy lives in an apartment. Uh, what about Berito? Do you live in an apartment, Berito? Obame? Or Gabby Sanchez? I don't know. No. Hmm. I think I they used in, in the apartment. I live in the in the apartment. In an apartment. Ah, okay. Okay, cool. Okay, guys. Um, depends, right, of the our budget. We have different areas where we can find an apartment. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Uh, may I ask you guys, 
uh, do you live in an apartment and you live in a house, but do you always have lived in a house or someday or somehow in your life uh, you lived in an apartment? When I was a child, I Ooh. lived in an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing you. When, you. when you were a child, okay. All right. Yeah. How many days or how many years? I think 10. 10? Oh, a lot. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but now you're living in a house, right? Yeah. Okay. But that's right. Your apartment. Oh, is an apartment also, Elsie? No, I. I I like the apartments. Oh, okay. You yeah. like the apartment, but now you live in a house, but you like the apartments. Okay. But okay. Uh, I don't have enough money to buy an apartment. <laughs> an apartment. Oh, yes. Oh, let me ask you, which is more expensive? A house or an apartment? Almost the same. Almost yeah, the same. But the apartment in, in Masferrer, I think, uh -huh. is, they are beautiful. Really mm -hmm. beautiful, but very, very expensive. Okay, yes, right, guys. Depends on the areas, right? Depends on where the area you can find um, an apartment which is also as expensive as a house, or also you can find an apartment less expensive than a house, or the opposite way, right? A house uh, more expensive than a, an apartment depends. Okay, guys. So you think that we have advantage and disadvantages if living in a house and living in an apartment? Yes. Why, for example, why you decide, Jaime, in your case, you said, I live in a house and you have always lived in a house. Yes. Okay. Always. Tell me why. Well, of course, because your, your parents uh, can give you that opportunity, but do you think that there is a, an advantage uh, between an, a house and an apartment? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I think houses are uh, quiet mm -hmm. as, as um, apartment. Okay. That is one of the winters. Mm -hmm. They are spacious, spacious. Uh huh. Okay, very good. Who else thinks the same way of Jaime? Or would you like to to ask something else regarding the house, guys? I know one of the time, please. I know everybody wants to participate. I understand that perfectly, but all your I horses. <laughs> I prefer the apartment because I'm single. So oh. uh, I need a, a little space for me, and then the uh -huh. amazing. So uh, for me, it's better an apartment. It's better an apartment. Okay, so it depends on our circumstances, right? Uh, some of some of us, like for example, Jaime has a family, so for for him, it's better like it's, it's best for him, uh, like a house. It will be a little bit like um, stressful if we can say that to be in an apartment because they have no the. No, they're not spacious, right? However, depends. Depends, right? Depends where the apartment is located, right? Mm -hmm. So guys, today, uh, why I'm asking you these kind of questions? Well, because today we're going to learn something really nice. Uh, I'm going to, we're going to learn a, how or what is exactly the information that we need to use, not only vocabulary, guys, not only vocabulary, but also grammar things, we call evaluations because sometimes guys, when we decide to live in a specific apartment, let's say that LC loves apartments, but we have an apartment in San Salvador, we have an apartment in Maferrer, we have an apartment in Santa Tecla, for example. So when, you, when she decides to live in an apartment, for example, she needs to compare, right? She needs to compare one thing with another or else, and also she needs to evaluate, right? Or, or in the case of Jaime or Liz or Gabby or Ceci, that they prefer and they live in a house, um, they said, okay, maybe the same places, right? Santa Tecla, Mas Ferrer, or downtown. Okay, you need to also compare between houses. You also need to evaluate mm -hmm. between houses. Um, and also like Brandy, for example, in Maryland, who they also uh, live in an apartment, uh, be beside or before they decide to live in the apartment where they are right now, they, they needed to compare, right? Between one apartment and another it, and evaluate between another apartment and another. So guys, what we're going to learn is what is exactly the words or the phrases that we use to compare, not only between apartments and apartments, houses and houses, but between houses and apartments and vice versa. So we're going to learn to, from to, today and tomorrow because this um, class I'm going to divide it in two. 
um, comparisons with nouns and adjectives. And also we're going to learn evaluations between with nouns and adjectives. May I ask you, evaluation is the same of comparison? You evaluate and you compare, no. is it the same thing? No, necessarily. No. no. What is the difference? Who can tell me that? The idea that you have, don't worry. We're going to learn this today. Um, the comparison, you are... <laughs> you first. <Go> ahead, Gabby. <laughs> okay, I, I will give you a break, Gabby. <laughs> okay, okay. Elsie said like, break, she says break time, break time. Okay, Elsie. Okay. What is the difference? Um, and when, when you have two things and, and then you compare what is better or what is worse. Uh -huh. And when you are, um, uh, what is the other word? Sorry? Evaluation. Evaluation. You evaluate a thing, uh -huh. the process. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, she has an idea. Jaime, very good, Elsie. Thank you. Any other opinion? Go ahead. I think evaluation, you have to choose one for two. Uh -huh. Of the same thing, of the same nature. Yeah. For evaluation. example, two houses. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You have to choose one of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about comparison? Um, comparison is when you have two, in, in this case, apartment and a house. You can uh -huh. compare the, the apartment what is the benefit to live in an apartment or a house? You have to hmm. make the decision. Very good, very good. Exact, almost the same that Elsie said. Exactly, very good. So yes, you, you have an idea guys. And why this is really important? Because um, uh, I don't know if you live alone. Some of you live alone. Some of you live with your parents, right? Or with your husband or your wife, your family. So before you are, where you live, guys, you have to decide, right? Which one was better for you? Depends of your own circumstances. So you guys, you evaluate it and at the same time you compare it, all right? That is really important to know, not only when we are going to rent uh, an apartment or to rent a house, but also when we're going to buy it. But at the same time, let's pretend that Ceci wants to move to a taco, for example, right? <laughs> okay and she said okay in the meantime when i'm when i'm with my uh, daughter in a taco we're going to rent this house right so you need also to learn how to sell your product all right so basically what we're going to learn today and tomorrow is going to help you as well but before we do the grammar thing that you will see that with me you know grammar is easy because I may I show you that is practical. Before we do that, there are some adjectives, guys, that we need to learn. We need to learn vocabulary. I remember that um, Jaime said spacious. Yes, that is one of them. But we have more adjectives, positive and negative ones, that we can use to compare to things of the same nature and also to evaluate it. So what I'm going to share right now with you. There you go. It's uh, basically, guys, uh, 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 I'm going to share with you this first one. And uh, let me share. Let me show it to you so we can be together. OK, very good. There you go. Mm -hmm. Basically, what I'm going to share with you, uh, this is like uh, words, guys, that we use to describe houses and apartments. So the first thing that I'm going to share with you, I just want you to let me know, guys, which ones do you consider they are positive and which one you consider that are negative? That's it, that's it. And then we're going to practice not only the pronunciation, okay, but also the meaning of these adjectives. So I think I already sent it to you. Do you have it? I sent it in the WhatsApp group right now. I did, yeah? You got it, guys? Yeah? Or no? Yes. Okay, yes, I got it. cool. Okay, so we have here the first one, of course, right? The first one is P, P for positive and N for negative. So bright, what is bright in Spanish? Exactly. That there's a lot of light that we have, we, when we have like a lot of windows, right? 
Okay, so that is positive or that is negative? Positive. 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 For example, right now where, where Anita is, it's not bright because she only has one light. No, <laughs> no Anita said no. Okay, what about comfortable? Positive. Positive. Okay. What does it mean? Positive. You can say it in Spanish. That's okay for me. Portable. Very good. Excellent. Formal. Exactly. Very good. For example, this sofa is comfortable, right? All right. What about convenient? Positive. Positive. What does it mean? Convenient. Very good. Positive. Thank you, Ozzy. Yes. Crampet. Negative. Negative. And what does it mean, crampet? Uh-huh. Estrecha. Very good. Excellent. Exactly. When you cannot move, right? <laughs> All righty. Very good. Next one. What is the next one? Dangerous. Dangerous. Okay. Dangerous. Is it positive or is it negative? Negative. 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 What does it mean? Peligroso. Mm -hmm. ah, peligroso. Very good. Excellent. The next one. Dark. 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 Negative. It's the opposite Negative. of bright, right? Dark. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. And what does it mean? Duro. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The next one? Negative. Dingy. Dingy. Dingy, dingy, guys, is more like lujubre, like sucio, right? Dingy. Dirty. Oh, eh, eh, ah, yes, it is It is synonym, Jaime. But dingy is like dirty uh, or dirty in like uh, 10%, right? Okay. Like, oh my God, this house or this apartment have been inhabited for like more than 20 years. So I like that way. Okay, like Crazy Adam's house, <laughs> something like that. All righty. Uh, what about expensive? Negative. Negative. Huge. Positive. Huge is similar, guys, to big. Mm. Synonym. Co inconvenient. Negative. 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 That's the opposite yeah. of? Convenient. Convenient. Okay. Convenient. Modern. Positive. 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 Noisy. Negative. 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 What does it mean, noisy? Ridoso. Ridoso. Very good. Private. Positive. 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 Quiet. Positive. 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 Mm -hmm. Safe. Positive. Positive. That is the opposite of dangerous, right? Safe. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Shoddy. <laughs> Who's, who know who knows what is shabby? No shabby, shabby. What does it mean? Uh huh. Who knows that? Mal estado. Miserable. No, no. Shabby is in, in some mal estado. That means like, uh, for example, the roof is falling, right? There are some like cracks on the wall, like right. The there's. There is no paint on the walls, yeah? So that is shabby. When you have to do a lot of repairs on the house, mm -hmm. or a lot of repairs on the apartment, that is shabby. Do you understand it, yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. All righty. What about the next one is small, right? Of course. Negative. 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 And the last one, spacious. Positive. 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 Okay. Very good. So we already identified. Guys, maybe there are some adjectives uh, that you already know, right? But there are some adjectives that are brand new for you. Which ones are brand new for you? Shabby. 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 What else? Dingy. And the other one? Dingy. Cramped. 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 All right. Very good. Okay. Yes. So you see, guys, these are some. We have more. Of course, we have more. But I think this is the ones that we can use to for both for apartment and for houses so guys right now we already know we already identified the positive and the negative ones we also know the, the meaning so let's practice a pronunciation okay all right repeat after me bright okay bright. i want to say your bright. 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 bright 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 remember like right. Col right. 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 right like that 
You just have to right. remember Colgate smile and that's it. Bright. Okay. Right. Right. Very good. This one, most of the people said comfortable, but it's not like that way. He said it is comfortable. 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 Yeah, it's comfortable. You see that that you don't know you don't even pronounce the N and the F. Comfortable. All right, very good. Mm -hmm. I know. Okay, repeat it, Gabby. Comfortable. Gabby Velasquez, sorry. Comfortable. All right. Liz, comfortable. Comfortable. Very good. Sassy, comfortable. Comfortable. Very good. Elwin, comfortable. Comfortable. Very good. Anita, comfortable. Comfortable. Very good. Elsie, comfortable. Elsie, comfortable. comfortable. Very good. Josue is like, I'm going to warm it up my chicks just in case. Okay. <laughs> okay, Josue. Now is your turn. Your chicks already warm up. Comfortable. Comfortable. Very good. Jaime, comfortable. Comfortable. Very good. Blanky, comfortable. Comfortable. Very good. Berito, comfortable. Comfortable. Very good. Marilyn, comfortable. Comfortable. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Bame, comfortable. <laughs> comfortable. Very good. Brandy, comfortable. Comfortable. Excellent job. All right. The next one. Convenient. 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 Okay. Convenient. Okay. Convenient. Convenient. <laughs> okay, Convenient. the next one, cramped. 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 Very good. Dangerous. Dangerous. Yes. Remember Michael Jackson's song, Dangerous? That's the one. All right. All righty. Dark. 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 Dingy. Dingy. Again, Colgate smile. Dingy. 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 Expensive. Expensive. Now look at my mouth. Huge. 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 Like if you're throwing a kiss, huge. 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 Jaime, you have to remember that, uh, by your wife. Huge, baby. Huge. <laughs> right? Okay. Also, right. Gabby, huge. Right? Huge. Oh, Blanky, your, your husband, huge. Huge. And he said, what happened to you, darling? Don't know, honey. I'm just practicing my pronunciation of these adjectives. Huge. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Very good. <laughs> you see? Yes. Well, in my case, I say huge. You see? I say huge. And it's exactly the same. Why I'm asking you to do this? Just for you to help you with your chicks to, um, to express the correct sound of the word. Okay. Now that you... We'll, we'll get used to the pronunciation. You don't have to do like huge, oh. no? You just say huge, you see? Huge. huge. It's not necessary, but in the first time, huge. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Josue, but you're going to have uh, some problem with your chicks this night. <laughs> All right, very good. Next, uh, next one, inconvenient. Inconvenient. Modern. 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 Noisy. No, I see. Private. 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 Quiet. 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 Safe. 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 Shabby. 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 Small. 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 Ah, no, 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 no. Small. 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 Uh -uh. Nah. Look at my eye. Uh, do you, can you see, guys, that do we have an E before the S there? No. No. We have like S, right? So do you remember when, no. when you have a tire that, that is flat? It's like, pssst. okay, so that is the sound that I want. Small. 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 Very good. No, it's small. Small. Very good. And the second one, spacious. 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 Look who's here. Somebody else joined today's class. Okay, come on, chest. I'm sorry, guys, but this little dog is little, but is heavy as hell. All right. Oh, my God. Wait a minute, Chestnut. No, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. Okay, good. There you go. Okay, baby. Okay, cool. There you go. I'm sorry, guys. Oh. Okay. Hi. 
It's huge. Oh, not really. <laughs> big. Hi, guys. Heavy. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Bye, baby. Oh, he's heavy. Woof. I think he's like 40 pounds right now. Ah, yes. I sweat a lot. Woof. Woof. All right. <laughs> okay, guys. Yes, can what happened? You repeat, can you repeat pri private? Private. 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 Okay. And the last one, spacious, right? Spacious. Okay. Mm -hmm. Spacious. Okay, guys. This is the adjectives that we're going to use for tomorrow's class. You know what? We already finished. Can you imagine? But before we, we go, I'm going to send you something in advance just for you to like read it a little bit because that will help you guys a lot for tomorrow's explanation. Because tomorrow we're going to talk about uh, evaluations between adjectives and nouns. Because when we evaluate something, guys, we not only use nouns, we use adjectives as well. And also when we compare, we use nouns and we use adjectives. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm going to send this square in advance just for you to have it. And uh, uh, okay. I'm going to send it to you right now, just to help you. This is the grammar focus, and we're going to get into deeply on this one, but this is just for you to study. But this, there's going to be a homework for today, for tomorrow, guys. I will give you a homework right now. Okay, send it to you. Let me know if you receive it. And your homework, guys, will be according to the... Um, to the word power that we have learned right now. I just want you guys to think about two positive and two negative features that your house or apartment has. Okay? Two of the ones that we have, that we double check right now, the ones that we saw right now, the bright, expensive, inconvenient, etc. Choose two. Two negative and two positive to describe your house. That's it. Okay. or your apartment that's all that i need okay. okay guys it's time to say goodbye as always right so hugs and kisses see you tomorrow bye 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 bye, bye. 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 bye.